Hi, welcome back to the edit room. Today I'm going to show you Chromatic from CoreMelt. And these are the system requirements. Basically, if you've had a Mac for a couple years, you should be good to go. Uh, just make sure that you want to have at least 8 gigs of RAM though, because you're going to want to use Mocha tracking, which is what we're going to talk about. So I have this drone shot here, and the drone is just flying away from the boat. And just to show you what the Mocha Tracker does, I'm going to apply the Cormelt grade here to it. So let me select the clip, and if, if I click move off of it, you can see that it didn't move the playhead. So by holding the Option key, I'm going to just click on the clip here. And just like any effect, I can click and drag it on. And I'm actually going to move my playhead to the beginning of the clip. I use the up arrow key to move it to the beginning. And to um, utilize the chromatic, I'm going to click on this button to open up the little floating window here. And it's very familiar if you've used other advanced color grading software in Funnel Cut. Um, these are basically all the different effects you could use. Uh, but what I want to do is use a mask to um, create my vignette. And so to do that, I'm going to use mask here. I'm going to check this little box to turn that on. And these little on-screen controls show up. If you don't see these on-screen controls here, then you're going to want to select the effect here in the inspector, and then these will appear. And these are all the different ways you can create a mask. I'm just going to use the little cloud icon here to draw my own mask. And I'll just freehand it, you know, draw around my boat. You know, isn't that a beautiful little mask. <laughs> okay, so uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to affect things that are outside the mask. So I want to make sure to select this here and choose outside shape. And then I'm going to add my effect. In this case it's going to be the RGB curves. And just like any other curves you can click and drag control points to make your adjustments. And if you uh, click and make a control point that you no longer want, you just select it and hit the delete key and it will remove that control point. So that looks pretty good, except that I want to feather my mask. So up here it says blur mask. And so I'll just drag that up and you can see the feathering starting to happen. Okay, so now I want to add Mocha's tracking to it. And this is the track forward button, and this is the track backward button. But because my playhead is at the beginning of the clip, I'm going to click on this to track forward. So we'll go ahead and start tracking. So I'll just let that track for a minute. So now that that's done, um, we can see the mask now. You can see the mask is moving with the boat. And I can make any adjustments that I really want to it if I... Um, Maybe even make this a little darker here. Let me hit the play button and play it. Pretty smooth. I am very happy with it. So let's move to the next clip here. In the next clip I have an adjustment layer. And if you go to my website you can download a free adjustment layer at johnblue.com. So I wanted to see if this would work on an adjustment layer as well. So I'll just drag the grade on just like I did before. And this time on my overall, on my overall adjustment, I'm going to apply a LUT. And I'll open up the LUT browser. And this is my zoom control, so I can see all my LUTs. I can zoom up and down. You can purchase LUTs. You can create your own LUTs. And I might just do this one just for the fun of it. And I'll close this. And so as you can see, it also works on an adjustment layer. So if I hit the V key, I can turn that adjustment layer on and off nice and easily. And I can make the adjustment layer go across multiple clips. And so now I have a nice continuous look throughout, which is really helpful if I want to add some film grain. So I'll just drag the film grain on 
and I can change the amount of film grain and different types of film grain. So overall, I'm really happy with Chromatic. I would definitely recommend purchasing it. And you can purchase it from their website. It's $99, and you can download a free trial just like I did to try to test it out and see if you like it. And that's about it for Chromatic. Go ahead and try it out for yourself. And don't forget to check out johnbaloo.com for more effect plugins for Final Cut 10. I'll see you next time in the edit room.